Welcome to a short tutorial about differential PTM detection and that is the detection of post-translational modification of proteins. Uh, this is a technology used to uh, classify uh, patients into healthy or diseased patients using mass spectrometry. Uh, the whole thing is uh, looking for pairs of unmodified and modified peptides uh, unmodified on top, uh, modified below, uh, and it classifies uh, all the fragments of the peptides into a green channel and a red channel, and we will see in detail how this is working now. So if you imagine uh, 50 amino acid peptides, you can uh, cut that at 14 different positions, uh, so you get 28 fragments plus the uh, mass of the intact, intact peptide, so you have 29 masses in total. Uh, this gives you an MSMS -MS spectrum as you can see here. The question is now if you put a modification, uh, for example on the red T here, how is the original spectrum going to change? First of all, uh, 14 of the fragments do not contain the modification. It's the green ones here. The green fragments do not contain the modifications. They will not change the mass. Uh, all the other fragments, they do contain the modification and they will change the mass. Uh, so basically what we get, it's a two-class effect. We have the green channels, it's fragments which do not contain the modification, and red channels, uh, they do contain the modification. It's a very strong statistical signal. Uh, where in our workflow do we use differential PTM detection? Well, that is after high accuracy mass spectrometry. You need to produce a peak list. Uh, peptide ID engine is uh, optional but highly recommended. The task we are doing here is that we have to compare all MSMS -MS spectra against each other and find this very strong the statistical pattern of uh, modification related pairs. So here we go with some real life examples. You can see here on the left that there's a delta mass of 15.99 Dalton and you can see that we have uh, localized this modification to M, that's a methionine. So this is a detection of an oxidation of methionine. This is nothing new in any way. However, uh, differential PTM detection does not know about oxidations of methionine in itself. It just detected that all by itself. A differential PTM detection is a real de novo technology for the detection of post-translational modifications. Next example. Uh, this is a delta mass of 43 point something Dalton. You can see that the N-terminal uh, letter is all red and the C-terminal is all green, so we have an N-terminal modification here. Uh, next example. This is a delta mass of 39 point something Dalton, uh, localized to a valine. This is actually a mutation of a valine to a methionine, so the difference you can see here it's a sulfur. That is a genetic mutation as seen by mass spectrometry. Uh, last example, this is a delta mass of 79.96 Dalton, this is a phosphorylation. A special thing here is that you don't just have the green and the red channel, you also have the yellow channel which is the loss of H2O, very typical for a phosphorylation, very strong signal. Uh, the whole technology is bundled in a software package called Delta Masses. Uh, that is a 74 megabyte uh, download. It comes in two editions. A personal edition, which is free of charge, and a discovery edition, which you have to pay for. Uh, so typically, uh, differential PTM detection is run on high accuracy mass spectrometry. Uh, is commonly used for protein modification based biomarker discovery. Thanks a lot for your attention.